We got Dynamite Bird, Charles Bird, back here on the program. He's going to be fighting at UFC 235 on March 2nd. Charles, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing good, James. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. It's good to talk to you again. Um, we haven't seen you since August. That was the last time you had your uh, your fight. Sorry, September, not August. Here I am trying to give you an extra month. Um, were you looking to get in there a little bit sooner, or did you want this much time off? I mean, uh, the later part of last year, I did a lot of traveling with my team as far as helping them with some fights. I mean, the timing, I kind of expected to be kind of first quarter of this year, March. Okay. So, I mean, it, it fits, just fits in with the schedule that I had. Right, and it, it you know uh, it's good to those who wait because this is a massive card, UFC 235. When you found out you were on this card, how excited were you? Man, I was crazy excited. I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of great fights on this card, and I mean, I'm just happy to be a part of it. I really am. Your last fight didn't go your way against Darren Stewart. It was a competitive fight. He just ended up getting the better of you in the second round. Um, what did you take away from that performance that you can bring into this fight? Uh, I took away a lot actually. That fight taught me a lot. Um, Darren, you know, is an extremely tough guy. I mean, he took a lot of shots in that first round, second round. Uh, when I kind of started to get into a groove, uh, and then he caught me with the elbow. So, I mean, I uh, just learned some lessons a little bit about patience. But, I mean, I'm still going to fight my fight regardless. I'm always going to come forward, push. But, uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, I learned, I learned a lot, obviously, um, from that. And I hope to take into this next fight with Edmund. Yeah, and uh, Edmund's got a lot of hype. Of course, he won in Contender Series, um, you know, 8-0, undefeated. Always nice fighting a guy with an undefeated record, uh, having the opportunity to hand him his first loss. How do you feel like you match yeah. up against him here? I think I match up very well. I know Edmund's all, you know, you know well-rounded guy. I know he boxed, he wrestled, did jiu-jitsu for a long time. So, I mean, um, I feel I'm a complete fighter as well. So, I, I just like, I think I match up very well against him. Yeah, and uh, what's interesting here is that uh, you guys both fought Darren Stewart. Um, you know, he won a split decision, although it was like you know pretty close close matchup there. I don't know if you can take too much away from that because uh, every fighter's different when they when they head into a fight. Um, training camp, how's how's all that going? I just talked to Alex Morono like literally just before I got on with you. Um, you know, I know he's been working with you guys. Uh, how's everything going with camp? Camp has been uh, crazy. It's been a really tough camp. I've been sparring. I mean, it's a lot of our team. You know, you know anything about our team? We, most of the 205ers who I've been sparring with and uh, did a couple rounds with Alex as well. So, I mean, I just have a lot of great looks and a lot of guys that offer uh, a lot of things as far as size, strength, length. Uh, it's just, you know, so it's been a great camp so far. Everyone I've talked to says they feel like just, you know, seeing seeing him in the room and then obviously what he's been able to do in the octagon as well, that, that Jeff Neal is going to be a future champion. Do you feel that way as well? Oh, yeah. I've been saying that since the guy first came to our gym. I mean, He's just an uh, uh, incredible talent, man. You know, the world hasn't seen exactly everything he brings to the table, but, yeah, it's just a matter of time for they will see it. I do he, I do see him being a future champ. And, and uh, I think one of the cool things last year was this was sort of, I mean, those of us in the know knew how good Fortis MMA was, but I think last year really put you guys on the map. There were a lot of really big, notable victories, including ones that you got. Um, you know, what was that like to just be a part of that gym this past year and just finally getting some nice recognition? I saw, you know, from a lot of awards and, and other things. Uh, I mean, it feels good to be a part of, a, you know, our system and it's been in place for years and we've been grinding like this for years and it just, it feels good to get, uh, the recognition that, you know, we deserve. But, I mean, um, we, we have a very clear path and a clear goal what we want as a team, and we all kind of keep the same mindset, the same vibes. And, uh, I mean, until we get to where we feel is we're satisfied, I mean, we don't, we don't really take much time to, you know, pat ourselves on the back. We just like to keep pushing forward, you know. How's the weight cut going ahead of this fight? Uh, it's going great. I mean, my weight is on, on point. It's been on point. I'm usually, um, like I said, from jumping into, I uh, helped Jeff with his camp last, his last fight camp, and then going directly into mine. I mean, it's just been a transition all the way through. Weight's no problem. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, coach, safe, Saud, and then um, same corner I've had pretty much uh, last three fights, uh, Ramiz Brahimaj and uh, Coach uh, Bertolino, wrestling good. And how do you see this fight playing out? Uh, you know, obviously, really, really exciting matchup. Uh, th this card's stacked, but, I mean, your, your fight could easily be on a main card as well with, with the talent yeah. level with both you guys. Uh, I see the fight going. Uh, I really you know, I don't want to make a prediction on how the fight's going to go because, obviously, I can say something to put my foot in my mouth. But I just see myself being confident in every position that, that we might end up in, um, either the clinch, you know, boxing, wrestling, anything. So I'm always looking to finish. That's just the name. That's what I like to do. I don't like to go to decisions. I don't want the judges to decide. So I'm always going to be looking to finish regardless. So, 
Do you think experience will play a factor in this fight? Uh, you know, you made your debut, your pro debut back in 2009. He made his pro debut in 2017. That's, that's a big gap. Uh, if you, if you think of that, do you feel like, you know, having gone through a little bit more, I know you don't have that like huge of a difference in terms of actual fights, but do you feel like that will, will pay dividends in this fight? Um, I like to say it would, but, you know, this is a fight game, the UFC, everybody's good. So, I mean, experience and all that is great, but it's all about, you know, if I take care of business and what I feel I need to do to win the fight. So uh, I would like to say, yes, it would, but, you know, I'm not banking on saying I'm experienced, so I should be able to, you know, I don't, I don't bank on that at all. Where do you feel like a win puts you in the division? Just one step closer, you know, to, you know, getting another contract and just give me another, another big fight. I don't really try to look. Pass. I just got to get the win first, and then we'll move on from there. Is, so, is this the last fight on your deal? No, no, no. I still have oh. another fight. Okay, you know, gotcha. like, no, I wasn't sure when you said that. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, that that makes sense. Um, I was gonna ask you, what happened to your Instagram account? Because I know you had to change the name or something. Did yours get uh, taken away from you, or what happened there? Man, I have no idea. Actually, <laughs> uh, I woke up. I woke up one weekend. I woke up one morning, and I'm getting all these flags for people reporting something. I never knew. Instagram never explained to me what what it was. Uh, tried all the avenues as far as trying to debate or you not debate, but appeal. And uh, it's literally somebody just reported it until they got taken. I don't know what happened. I honestly don't know what I posted. I don't know if it was copyright or anything. It just got taken from me. Because I don't know if you heard, the same thing happened to, to Devontae Smith uh, this past weekend as well, or last week, I should say. And for him, it was, uh, I think it was something like promoting his fight. And then he's like, he's like, what the heck? So they, I don't know, UFC's got to step in there or something. Because I'm sure in a lot of cases, it's just you guys posting stuff that's about fighting. You guys should be kind of immune to that. Yeah, I mean, like, and like I don't even think it was UFC content that I shared. I didn't share any UFC content. So it was just kind of like a random, I wake up one morning and I'm getting all these uh, messages from Instagram saying that my posts was flagged i never saw what post it was and then i get the instagram back after three days post again and then it was taken in within 24 hours so i it's crazy man I yeah, I had, my, yeah. I, had my, uh, I had my twitter account locked out for like three days and it turned out some bot was attacking my account and it automatically booted me out and then uh like twitter i don't know how instagram is but twitter's all a ticketing system so you can't even talk to anyone so i can't even yeah. explain like hey look i can't log in like it's actually me my account's verified yeah. but they, they can do anything so i yeah, eventually got crazy. let back in but i was in the dark for a couple of days it was kind of weird yeah instagram's the same way there's nobody you can actually talk to so it's kind of like that, man yeah yeah sure it's rough what are, you, uh, what are you doing for downtime right now? I, I know you got a lot going on, but uh, you getting in any TV or video games or anything like that? Man, video games, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4. That's kind of my go-to right now. I play that and uh, just, you know, a uh, little stuff on the TV whenever I have time to watch TV. You're not, like, dedicated to a show, though? Like, you're not, like, going through a series? You're just like, whatever's on, I'll watch. Man, I'm kind of behind on TV shows, so I actually just started Game of Thrones. I've never seen that before. Until okay. I'm, I think I'm on the fifth episode. Good stuff. You're you're five episodes ahead of me. I've never watched it either. I, I know that's crazy. A lot of people have seen that show, but I, I I don't know. Eventually I'll get to it. It's just one of those things. I got to dedicate. Like I actually have to physically like get the episodes and then dedicate the time. But uh, I don't know when I'll do that. But uh, so far so good, I guess. So far it's just kind of slow, but I mean everybody says it gets good after what I think the third or fourth season. So I, I'll wait and see. But they said it's good. Well, I'll tell you what is going to be good. This card, UFC 235, I can't wait. It's going to be a great one, uh, March 2nd. Uh, Charles, always appreciate you taking the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, since this is my new account, uh, KidDynamiteBird underscore UFC. Uh, and then on Twitter, DynamiteBird170. And then Facebook, just Charles Bird. But, yeah, if you can hit that follow button, and uh, I'll truly appreciate it and follow you back. And uh, sponsors, hold on, sponsors. Definitely, uh, my I, since you know I'm Instagram. You know, getting your accounts taken away, not having the followers that you had. I really appreciate the people that stuck with me. So, uh, Fit Meals Prep, 100%. Those guys have been phenomenal. Uh, my strength conditioning coach, Mike Skacia, and the guy is just phenomenal. What he does, um, Doctor Man, Reform Chiropractic, keeping me healthy. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Just those main three, but. Yeah, I mean, just keep me, those, those main core group people just keep me in line and ready to fight.